Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com. On Tuesday, May the 22nd, with a market wrap report just after the close, uh, this is the GLD, the gold ETF, uh, down 1.6%. Uh, we are now back in this channel here. Uh, we got out of it here for a few days, and now we're back in. It looks like we got support down here at this lower channel line here. Um, so uh, a bit of a down day here for the gold on a pickup in volume, but volume is still uh, below average. Uh, so I would look at this uh, just as a normal pullback after a big uh, run up off the bottom here. Uh, so gold still fighting a battle to get above these major key moving averages, which is below. And uh, we have a bearish stack up of these where the longer term moving averages are stacked above the shorter term. So not good. Um, nothing to get excited about here yet. Uh, if you're a bottom feeder, uh, you could say that uh, 148.60 is the absolute bottom and, uh, and play that. Um, you know, picking up shares, hoping that you don't crack through that. Um, we do have uh, uh, support here at uh, possible support at 148.27 just below that. So. Could be an interesting little play if you feel that gold uh, could be uh, setting up to move higher. And here's the SLV, the silver ETF, down one point uh, one and a quarter percent here. Um, another uh, uh, kind of a weird day um, uh, that we call this a um, uh, outside day down. Uh, we made a higher high and a lower low here and uh, closed uh, down near the lows of the day here um, on a pickup in volume uh, below average volume here on the last for the last couple of days on the pullback here uh, same kind of story uh, made a bottom here had a big run up here and then now we're pulling back in light volume uh, possibly setting up to attack these uh, trend lines uh, and and moving averages here and uh, we have another bearish stack up of these so we have a lot of work to do to get silver looking more positive here but you know we have to keep an eye on these things uh, they do do can and do change very rapidly but silver still in a downtrend here uh, still looking weak uh, uh, just like gold but possibly setting up to uh, to make a run for these moving averages and uh, we'll see what happens and here is the NASDAQ composite down uh, a third of a percent um, on uh, just average volume here um, we had a nice uh, big uh, up day yesterday and uh, uh, made a higher high today uh, getting closer to this gray line here uh, that's the 10 day moving average um, and uh, you know uh, this little move still in place here and um, uh, we're going to say that uh, this is day two of a rally attempt. Day two of a rally attempt. We made a low here of uh, 2774.45 and didn't take it out yesterday. <clears throat> and uh, this was Friday's low here. And um, so uh, we're looking, um, uh, if we get a big move of 1.4% up or higher, uh, in the next uh, a few sessions here, uh, we could be back in rally mode with a follow-through day. So let's keep an eye on that. We're coming into the areas where we can get a follow-through day if we're going to start rallying. Um, wouldn't be out of the question. I know it sounds, uh, you know, things uh, seem pretty bleak when we're in a, in a downtrend here, but uh, we could get a follow-through day. So I'm keeping an eye on that. And um, uh, But uh, so far, nothing to get excited about. NASDAQ still in a downtrend and below. Uh, some major key moving averages. Here's the 100-day moving average, and way up above here is the 50-day moving average, this blue line. And here is the uh, S&P 500, the uh, SPY, uh, pretty much flat on the day, up one one-hundredth of one percent uh, on uh, average volume, less volume than yesterday. Uh, had a uh, higher high today, second day of, of, the, of the rally attempt here. And uh, we uh, got stopped here at the 10-day moving average. So finding some overhead resistance at this 10-day moving average, but still uh, day two of a rally attempt and trying to get back up here and test this 100-day moving average, this green dotted line currently coming in at 135.28, 135.28. And notice here you have the red line, the 21-day moving average, falling quickly. Uh, might get in that zone too. So we have double overhead resistance here. And then of course we have the 50 day, the all important 50 day moving average here up at 138.02, 138.02. Uh, getting above that uh, key moving average would be a great sign <coughs> for stocks. And uh, let's see if we can't get a confirmation here in the next few days. Uh, but uh, uh, S&P 500 pretty much flat on the day. Wanted to show you a quick uh, look at Apple. Um, a lot of people watch this and trade this, of course. Uh, it had an interesting day. We had um, uh, a higher high here, 
got up here above the 21-day the, uh, moving average, this red line here, um, got above the 10-day moving average yesterday, so it appeared that there was no real resistance coming in, but then closed at the lows of the day, uh, actually down almost 1% on a pickup in volume. So this is a, a little bit of a distribution day here, above average volume. Uh, so fighting a battle here at the 21-day moving average and underneath the 50-day moving average. So uh, we're going to have some more uh, uh, battling to do as we get up towards that, and that is at about 590. So uh, Apple trying to put together some sort of a rally up off the bottom, got as low as 522.18, cracking through the 100-day moving average briefly, and uh, let's see what happens with Apple. Another uh, uh, big cap uh, leader is Alexion Pharmaceuticals. Um, you know, if you looked at this chart uh, uh, on Friday, you would say, oh boy, this is just not looking good here. We were down here uh, fighting a battle here at the 100-day moving average. And then uh, uh, yesterday we had a big, big up day on some, you know, slightly above average volume here. Came up and got uh, uh, stopped um, uh, short of the 50-day moving average here. Um, and then uh, uh, today we gapped up higher, up four and a quarter percent, almost making a new high. Um, the previous new, uh, last high was a uh, 9501. We got up to 9436, so getting close there uh, on a massive, massive uh, increase in volume. Uh, the biggest up volume in quite some time, uh, all year, as a matter of fact. So this is a great sign. Uh, this is a sign that uh, there are investors that are eager to step into stocks. Uh, uh, the right ones. So uh, let's see what happens with Alexion. Can it follow through and start running? That would be a great sign for the markets. And here's another uh, a big cap leader. This is Priceline.com. Second day of a rally attempt here. Got as low as 630. Uh, down here testing the 100 day. Successful test. Bouncing up. Today we had a pickup in volume here. Uh, right about average volume. So good sign there. Um, got up above the 10 day moving average. Uh, but kind of reversed and closed uh, near the lows of the day. Um, but uh, enough for a half a percent gain. So Priceline's uh, trying to run here. Got some work to do when it comes up here to the 50 and the 21 day moving averages, but uh, attempting a rally here. And I wanted to show you a quick chart of Facebook. Now Facebook um, looks like it came out at, at $42 here on Friday and then quickly ran up to 45 and then uh, closed down here at 38 and then uh, on Monday uh, gapped uh, looks like a gap down to uh, under 37 here and then fell to 34 getting as low as almost 33 today we fell another 9.37 percent uh, down here uh, to close at uh, uh, 3084 the low of the day 3084 um, and falling and uh, you know had some great volume uh, here on Friday and volume has been tapering off too so uh, this is the danger of, of buying into these uh, IPOs, these new issues, uh, when they first come out. Uh, you never know what they're going to do. And this one certainly had a lot of hype. You'd think it was going to go to the moon the way they were talking about it. But uh, it has really fallen out. And uh, what I like to do is just wait for uh, these new issues to form their first base. Uh, they need to have a proper base to set up in and then break out of that base on volume. And that's the proper time to buy them. You don't want to get caught in this. Uh, some of these investors have lost a lot of money here, and they are very scared right now. So that's it. Um, uh, stocks, gold, silver, all in downtrends, uh, uh, trying to stabilize, trying to put something together here. Possible uh, rally uh, being attempted right now. Uh, we'll know more in the next few days. So thanks for listening, and good luck.